hi and welcome back to It's a Miracle Beauty. My name is Brandy and my channel is based on using what I have versus buying new. Does not mean I never buy anything new but I am trying to utilize what I have and my pan challenges are reflective of that. I am doing three pans this year. I have 24 and 24, I have um, 12 by 7 4, and then I have the Dead to Me challenge. Those two challenges are a lot smaller than the one that I'm the first one. I do repeat this intro on every single one. And again, I thank you for your patience. For those of you that don't complain about it, I have lupus and ankylosing spondylitis, which are both very painful autoimmune diseases. And then I work 50 to 60 hours a week hybrid from home and work. But when I go to work, it's I get up at three in the morning to get to work on time. And then I also have um, six kids, two still at home in high school right now, freshman and senior and a husband. So this helps me edit less, do less and everything else. And it allows me to continue to film without feeling it as a burden and it continue to be a pleasure. So I appreciate your patience on that. So now that I've said all that, the last thing I want to point out is my pan challenges are a little different than some. Not every product is meant to be utilized to completion. I do have products like that. Some are just utilizing. I have a very huge makeup collection. All around me is eyeshadow palettes. Over here is a drawer with tons of foundations and blushes and concealers. And I have way more than any one person needs. My goal is to go through that collection, not necessarily finish everything but there are products that are aging or whatever I do look to finish. So with all that being said, I hope you'll like, share, subscribe if you like this video and let's get started on the pan challenge. Okay, this is my 12 by 7 4 pan challenge. If you've never been here before, the idea for these are either finish or utilize a lot of to show, you know, movement in the product and that we're actually getting use out of it. So the first one I have is the Elf Putty Primer and this is completely finished. We did, we, me, myself and I finished that this week month so that is done and then the mario powder bronzer it looks like this this is one that i enjoy but i don't think about using like i never go oh i want to use that bronzer it's never in my like conscious about that but i actually really love it and it tends to look really good on my skin it's a good tone for me so that's staying in actually all of these should be staying in with the exception of the empties this one is not a rolling pan for the most part. I'm just trying to use these products. So the next one is the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin. I did finish this entire, I literally like squeezed everything out of it I could get. That one is finished. So I'm going to put the finished products in a different pile so at the end we can count how much is actually gone. Next is the Elf St. Bart's. This is just an Elf Luminous, or Elf, not Luminous, it's the original blushes. This is a red tone one. This is one that looks really good on its own when I do a cream with no powder and so I really do enjoy that. Next is the Milani Color Corrector. This is basically at that gold line in the middle, and it's a good one. It's a dupe for the um, Fenty one, and it's just a pink, it's basically a pink concealer is all it is. It works great. Next is the Rare Brush Enjoy. We're not going to see any change in this. You can use a dot of this, and it would be enough for three people. So this is one, it's in here for me to utilize, but we're not going to see physical change because there's just too much, and you need so little. Next is the Elf Contour, and you can see where I'm at on that. This is one that works fine, looks good, but I never think to use. It's one that I just, I'm not in love with it. It, it typically looks okay or sometimes looks amazing, but you just never know what you're gonna get with it. So that's one I'm not sure about. The Huda Primer, I actually love this. I think this might be getting discontinued now that she's getting rid of Glowish. I'm not sure what she's doing overall, but that's where we're at. We're actually starting to see some movement on the level that's in there. I'm seeing it like some peaks to the bottom. So I think with the next couple months, we should start seeing it panned. Next is the NYX Honeydew. I did finish this completely. I started this in December last year and I finished it in March. So it was about three months, but I used it heavily. I used it pretty much every single day for over 90 days, 120 days, because I used it in December as well. So that one is empty. So um, next is the, oh, I missed one. I'm sorry. The M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush. This looks like this. This is one of those ones I'm never going to finish, but I'm hoping to get some disruption and change to it. And then next is the YSL New Tint and Moisturizer. This is the new by them, and it's the Barrel Look Tint, and this is in number two. So you can see where I'm at. This is one that I, I have such a love-hate relationship with. When I wear this by itself, it looks fine for a couple hours, and then it looks like absolute garbage. When I wear it with the KVD Balm Foundation, a 10. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh my god, what did I wear today? What is that? It's the weirdest thing, but I am using it for now. I did pay for it. I did get a discount, so I don't care if I use every bit of it. But as you can see, it's a high-end brand. I want to make sure I use it. And then the very last product is another finished product. This is the Jaclyn Hill powder, and this is completely gone. 
as you can see. And I actually opened the, the backups that I had bought. I actually have two different colors open now and I'm still utilizing this product. Actually, I might repurpose this because right now I'm using this for my powder. So actually I'm gonna do that. That way I have something that's firm. It's not just a Tupperware lid. As you saw, I re-poured it all in there. <sighs> right now this is um, the newer, oops, I missed a whole bunch, holy cow. How did I do that? So this is the Danessa Myricks and the uh, um, Jekyll and Hill mixed together. So I'm gonna reuse, repurpose that container. It's prettier than the one I was using and it works perfectly, but this is one that I keep mixing the two together and I'm just using powder by powder by powder. In fact, my Danessa Myricks is in this pan. And so it's gonna be a little while before we use it, but this is part Danessa Myricks and this is part Jekyll and Hill. That is it for the second pan challenge 12 by 7 4. Don't forget to come back and look for the Dead to Me pan challenge, which is coming next, and there is some changes coming to that one as well. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and I'll see you again soon. Hope your pans are doing great, guys.